Alex Scott Doctor. Today's patient is a Toyota Matrix. Um, the patient complaint is the car keeps cutting off. As of right now, pulling it into the shop, it has no power. Feels like it's running on three cylinders. Um, it runs terrible. I think I'll be cutting off too. So, first thing we're gonna do is check for some codes and pop the hood and make sure we don't see nothing out the obvious like chewed up wires or you know connector issues so let's see if i can get the hood open and what year matrix is this oh three so um ooh, look at that corrosion let's see i don't see nothing out the ordinary of course i'm gonna have to remove this cover here um does it have a stick for the hood prop uh, i don't think so so let me get something to hold the hood open with and plop that cover off and i'm gonna check for codes let me go grab my scanner so i got my scanner here let's see what pulls up um probably gonna have to go into the regular obd the regular you know generic system because i don't think it's going to read the vin because it's too old i don't think it's going to work i just probably need to do a generic scan on it um my guess right off the bat is a bad coil as you can see the car has 276,000 miles um so bad coils is my guess i'm just going to cancel because Normally, it's a lot faster than that. So we're gonna go into the generic section. I just really wanna know what code is pulling up so I know where to look and where to test. So getting good battery voltage, 13.6. That's looking good. I like this little all tail scanner. Um, this particular one was $500. Um, I had to buy it uh, for a spare because my big boy, my $5,000 all tail scanner went out and um, I had to recently got that back. So I'm very happy because it just does so much more. But this one will, you know, get you by, especially if you're like a DIY guy um, that work on cars on a daily basis. Um, you know, this would, this would do just fine. You don't need in the thousand dollar range scanner. So I got four codes. Uh, let's look at the DTCs. Okay, random misfire. Two, three, and four. Okay, so looking at that, if she if this this patient may have some bad spark plug tube seals so the first thing i'm gonna do is find something to prop this hood open with and pull out one of the coils and see if it's coated with oil if it's coated with oil real bad that'll cause it to run like this because water well let's say liquid it's not water it's liquid liquid and electricity does not mix um, it, it cause issues like this. I doubt if, I doubt if all those coils are bad. So, got my hood propped up. It's not the ideal thing to do, but hey, it's gonna work. Um, let's see if my prediction right. I say, um, bad valve cover tube seals. So as of right now, it's skipping on two, three, and four, I think. From what the code said someone has already been in here i see this engine says jdm on it i don't know what that's all about maybe they replaced the engine Let's see nope no oil on the tube seals man the coils look pretty good Thought I was just gonna need a 10 millimeter, but it turns out I'm going to need 
my spark plug socket. Now it's a little something around here. Hmm. It's down in the hole. Nothing. There's a bee trying to attack me. Go on now. I'm not scared of you, but I don't want to be stung. All right. Look here, B. Look at it. Just crawling all over me. Is that a good sign when bees like you? What you guys think? So. Now he's on my head camera. So. Hmm. Okay, you tripping. Look, I don't want you in my ears. <laughs> All right, interesting. All right, back to it. Got a little sidetrack from a B. All right, so, oh, spark plug socket. All right, so I'm gonna pull out these plugs to see the condition. socket is not doing what it's supposed to do today but don't fear you grab the old coil stick it down in there like so and it'll pull right out so this plug is very wet smell like gas so I know it's firing I mean I know it's getting fuel uh, yeah what's who me What's going on? This guy from Virginia just called. He's currently in a lawsuit with Cadillac. Oh, jeez. You already know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Lift us. Lift us. 2015. So he called for a little rough estimate. So a little rough quote like some other guys he did. He said he's going to talk over with his lawyer and he's bringing his car down from Virginia. Wow. Alex to work on it because he don't trust well, nobody else. He watched I, all your YouTube videos. I like the way that sounds. I said, oh, yeah, <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a little out of town, people, so right. I'll make sure I welcome him with open arms. What car is this? This is the Matrix. That said, it kept cutting off. Yeah. So, guys, you heard it. People love Alex the Car Doctor. <laughs> Thank you, Shan. All right, so the plugs wouldn't cause this type of misfire. So next thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a compression gauge on it and turn it over and see what goes on. I might as well just remove this one. That's how you properly do a compression test. You um, take all the plugs out. Sometimes I get lazy and just just do it the improper way, but this is the proper way. Take all the plugs out. So the engine can spin over freely. That's the idea behind it. All right, come on. Yeah, this looks great, that plug does. Okay, let me go get my compression tester. All right, here we go. Of course, I got to be fancy with digital wireless pressure tester. Well, it does a lot. So it just it does oil pressure, um, fuel pressure, vacuum. So you can kind of tell why I bought it from Snap-on and paid really good money for it. I think this thing was like five, six hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, Snap-on would get you. So I'm gonna do cylinder number one for a baseline. So how to properly do it. Like I said, all plugs out, pedal to the floor, and we're just gonna crank over the engine. So about 160 for that cylinder. So, uh oh, did I switch it over? Yeah, I switched it over. Go back to pressure. Not bar.
Look at it, it's so fancy, I don't even know how to work it. There we go. <laughs> see here. So 160. Um, I haven't looked up the specs yet, but normally they shouldn't be any nowhere near like that one 160. It shouldn't be no more than 25 PSI difference. So that's 150. A little slow to build. And we're gonna need a jump box because this battery is taking a toll. All right, got the jump box. I'm gonna restart it. So this is how the cylinder order go in a four cylinder. The closest one to the timing chain is one. So one, two, three, four. So we're on cylinder number three. So far, so good. So about 150. All right, about 150. So that's all good. We can put this away and put our spark plugs back in. I am gonna spray them down with a little brake cleaner just to clean them up a little bit. I doubt if we have bad coils, but hey, that's why we test stuff to make sure and not just guess and throw parts at stuff. So let me go grab some brake cleaner. All right. came out like new and they would have some auto lights um guys i really hate auto lights they do not auto light they will so there's several different plugs i'm just now noticing that <laughs> so you got one auto light and no two auto lights so i really don't like auto lights so i'm gonna see if i can have some used ones um, to throw in there because I've seen auto lights in Japanese cars make the car run real funny. So, so I won't be chasing my tail over some bad spark plugs. I'm gonna go find some similar plugs and replace them. And if that fixes the problem, just recommend some plugs and proper plugs. <laughs> and I call that a, a proper diagnostic if that works. All right, so they're a little mismatched, but I trust mismatched over auto crap. So clean them up. Put them in. Hand tighten them. Well, hand start. All right. All right, as you can see, I ran it up with my electric ratchet, but now I'm gonna take it 
and do it like this. Now, with the, using electric tools, you gotta be very careful like that. You don't wanna do it like that. But I'm what you call an expert, so I do this a lot and I know my tools. Perfect. So, I think my B friend is back. Um, we're just gonna plop these down in here like this, plug them up, cause I'm probably gonna come back and check for spark. But hey, the power may be back. So let's just move this out the way. Put this right there. Still got a bad skip. That's fine. So I don't use a spark plug tester. This is basically what I do. So, this one I suspect that's bad. So basically what I'm just this, this is just a quick way of diagnosing. So no spark, look at that. So she's running off of three cylinders. So this is a combination, look, it ain't even gonna shock me. And there's my B-friend back. I don't want you landing on my face though. Right. See how it dies down real bad? So that is sparking. And I can physically hear that one igniting. All right, pretty easy diag today. So what I'm gonna prescribe this patient is <laughs> four good plugs that's recommended for this vehicle and a coil pack. Um, these coils, uh, I'm probably gonna recommend three Ooh, this B is around my ear. It's, <laughs> I came out in the sun for you guys so you can get natural sunlight on this situation, but I don't know. I, I have bees that like me today for some reason. Um, back to what I'm gonna prescribe the patient. Three coils, four spark plugs. Um, this is the coil that's out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it around just to make sure it's not the coil. I mean, if it's, it's not the wiring, so I'm gonna put the bad one right here. It's very important because you don't want to misdiagnose nothing. But I'm pretty sure it's just a coil. So now it should be right here. Yeah. This is the one that's not working. Remember, I can just boop, touch it. Now, if this was <laughs> if this was a live plug and I touched that, oh, it would hurt so bad. I don't know if you guys ever been shocked by a spark plug, but it does not feel good. That's why I kind of put my hand on it to kind of be dramatic. Like I wouldn't normally do that if it wasn't working. Um, so like I mentioned before, three coils. Um, a good set of plugs, and this bad boy will be back on the road. All right, guys. Alex Carr, Dr. Al. Hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of this diagnostic procedure. Talk to you guys later. Alex Carr, Dr. Al.